So I have some macaroons that I bought. I love them. They are really yummy. And then just a simple sandwich with um, egg and mayo. And my scone that I, I baked uh, from the National Trust book. I... <laughs> ah, I'm looking forward to eat uh, this, to enjoy this. And um, yeah, and I have also um, cucumber sandwich. So I'm really looking forward to enjoy this uh, little treat, this tea time. And tomorrow I am baking the cake, the 12th night cake. I found a very simple recipe, but uh, I wanted to read you a little bit uh, from this book from the uh, Christmas Chronicles. I know many of you have uh, already uh, gotten this book and I'm enjoying very much. I'm so glad about it. And um, I just wanted to to read just a passage uh, that is about the story of the 12th night cake and it says here um, generally it was a deep fruit cake and it contains a dried pea and haricot bean known as the favors whoever found the bean became king of the rebels the lord of misrule for the night the finder of the pea the queen we have made this rich fruit cake since medieval times, though the first printed recipe seems to have appeared in 1803. I am fascinated uh, by this story of the 12th night cake and all the lovely costumes that there was in the past uh, around Christmas, Christmas, all the lovely traditions. And I also uh, wanted to to read you a quote about uh, uh, about the 12th night cake from this uh, lovely book, the book of Christmas, that I know that uh, Mitzi uh, has gotten this book. Mitzi from the channel uh, Mitzi Reads and Writes. 12 cakes were always highly and elaborately decorated and by early Victorian times were usually made by bakers and confectioners for whom this was their busiest time of year. Gradually, with the rise of Victorian prosperity, the peas and beans were replaced by silver trinkets, such as thimbles and rings. So I find that very interesting. So I'm looking forward to bake the cake and eat it and make my uh, try a chapter to, to decide which book I'm going to read. After the readathon, I am doing uh, a trial chapter for uh, for the French cake because I would love to try new books. I mean, from other genres uh, that I don't usually read, from uh, science fiction and fantasy. And uh, also, today I am starting this book, Tea So Intoxicating, because it has to do with tea. I thought about it. I love this quote. I shall turn this into a tea house with lunches if requested and shall serve pleasant meals in the orchard, announced David. And with my pen penchant for cooking, I ought to make a fortune. So this is a book that also would fulfill the prompt to read a vintage book. So I, I am hoping that this would be a cozy book to fulfill the part, the coziness part of, the, of this prompt. And what else? I am also planning to peruse in this book, Time for Tea. It also uh, could be used for the prompt to peruse a cookbook. In this case, it is a tea uh, book, a, tea, a book about tea. It has some of the story uh, of tea and also, I love the illustrations. And also it has, it seems like really great recipes that I, I hope to, to make during the year. It, it looks and sounds really good. The pictures are also very nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear if you also would like to complete the prom uh, tea time. 
and also which uh, new books have you started in January and if you have also read some books that could be for the prompts of the readathon to read a vintage book, to read a historical fiction, to read uh, a cozy mystery and to read um, a children's book or a fairy tale. I would love to hear if you have completed any of the prompts or are thinking about doing that in the next days and I will be seeing you tomorrow with another video. Bye!